tests, all that stuff. But if you go back 10 years, that's 200 nuclear weapons. You're talking about strategic capability. When they talk about launch weight, throw weight, all those missile terms, you know, I, I say this, well, have you guys factored in container weight? They say, what do you mean? I said, preposition containers with medium uh, range ballistic missiles that the sides fold down and voila. Have you considered that those are already in the United States? Well, right now, you know, your sources will tell you the same thing. They know of at least 16 nuclear weapons unaccounted for in the United States. So the point being is, look, we can find this crap. If they can find Alex sure. Jones and they can see your wristwatch, read it from outer space, if you if they've got gigapixel cameras that can pick out 50,000 people and identify each individual base, why is it that all the assets that are turned against the American people aren't used in the international terrorism? Right? Listen, take the F-22. They've now proven what was said 15 years ago when they started development. It's not as good as the F-16. It's not as good as anything before it. It is sabotage, hundred and something billion dollars. I mean, we are being sabotaged. Human flight programs, NASA. I had one of the former top NASA astronauts on just two weeks ago, and he said, no, I agree. NASA is being sabotaged. Human operations are being sabotaged. America is being sabotaged. We are under sabotage attack. Well, and, and not only that, but here's the thing. I, I, you know, we're talking about an American population taken down in the not-too-distant future by a couple hundred million people. The only way you can achieve that is through pretty much primarily two delivery systems, weapon systems, biological, i.e. mandatory vaccines. Everybody used to bust my chop, your chop. And notice now we're and the sickest now. Yeah, that we never have mandatory vaccines. Now California's doing it. Now Australia's doing it. We got to go to calls here, Steve. But I mean, it is accelerating. Okay, one, last thing before we, one last thing before we go to calls. If everybody noticed, the closing down number the other day was fifteen thousand six sixty six. Okay. Yeah. I want I want everyone to look for two numbers. I want them to look for multiples of thirty three. And for instance, there were sixty six challenges to NATO and American. Uh, aircraft by the Russians, 66 in the last so many months. So here's the deal, Alex. The Illuminists are basically wetting their pants with glee, okay, because they see this coming to pass. And, and there is, and I'm going to say this, there is no turning it around politically. My critics will take me on. They'll say I'm negative. I'm not negative. I'm just telling you this. We've gone too far, and now the, the race war I warned about 20 years ago, and by the way, I'm doing everything I can can to stop it by by warning both the blacks the whites latinos everyone you're all we're all being played against each other who's the central command but look who are the villains right now and you can understand this when they when anybody says if you're a constitutionalist a christian i'm saying this if they say you're a veteran anybody homeschoolers whoever they identify the enemy as they're not playing games. You are being targeted for elimination. I don't know how to make it any easier, Alex. 250 vets, 250,000 vets pretty close have died in the last five years. So am I off? I don't think so. All I know is we need alarmists, whether you're completely right or completely wrong. You're obviously a lot more right than wrong. We need to be upset. We need to be concerned. Alan in Washington, D.C., you're on the air. Thanks for calling. Hi, uh, Alex. And Steve, my question is about what Steve was saying about the possibility that the Chinese and the Russians could eventually team up against the United States. I, uh, well, I believe uh, they have. I believe that it's obvious they have. They're, they're now having joint military drills. They're obviously in the Arctic together. Uh, the Russian, the BRIC nations, Russia, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I can't even think of the BRIC nations. Brazil, Russia, uh, India, China are already uh, forming their their international money transfer system to compete with the West SWIFT. So they're ready to go. It's interesting. China's starting yeah. to dump U.S. treasuries. I think that signals yep. the dollar is in trouble, even though it's been dominant. It it signals a war zone. Absolutely. So so the answer is they're already here. They're already ready. And I hope you understood, sir, the caller when I first started talking. It's already a given that the Chinese, in order to continue to buy America's debt years ago, demanded the disarming of the United States citizenry. Even Michelle Obama, what was it, Alex, a couple months ago, said before my husband leaves office, he's going to take the guns away. By the way, most people don't understand. John Kerry, without Senate approval, signed the United Nations 
small arms convention. And Definitely, here. they're making their move. I don't know if they're going to get away with it. Exposing right. them may stop it. Then we get blamed for fear mongering. We're trying to stop this. Alan, thank you so much. James in Canada, you're on the air with Steve Quayle. Hi, guys. Thank you. Um, my question is about the fires. I'm in uh, southern Alberta, and we're getting a ton of smoke coming from the Washington fires. Do you think this is part of the chemtrails or part of the, their agenda to smoke us out or something? Well, I'll give you the answer to that. Again, I would encourage you to go on, uh, uh, do a web search for uh, Spetsnaz and also Golitsyn, G-O-L-I-T-S-Y-I-N, or S-Y-A-N. It is a part of the preparatory events taking place before the Russian and Chinese invasion of the United States. It, the fires are intentionally being set, and that's exactly what a guy, he, he posted 148 points, 139 points. Chemical well, I remember people saying the fires in Russia might have been started by NATO. NATO certainly starting a fight. What about the big chemical explosions at the at the military base uh, last week in uh, Japan, and then the stuff happening in China? Some word is they're saying that's environmental terrorist. Well, I don't believe that. I believe it's space-based weapons. Okay, here's the reason I say that. Ken Zhang, and I may be pronouncing it wrong, the same thing. There's so much payback, and geoengineering, by the way, is what is directing the normal rain away from the Pacific Northwest. I have people that live in the Olympic Peninsula, Alex, talking to me about how dry it is there. Geoengineering is the perfect weapon, chemtrails, the perfect weapon. When we talk about the introduction of a, a, a bioweapon across the country or across the world, if the chemical spray, the chemical soup that's already in the air, in our lungs, in our body, in our genes, all they have to do is add, let's say, that's part A of the ingredient, part B of the Binary ingredient. Binary weapon, stay there. James, thank you. Great question. Art, Darren, Adam, Gary, your call straight ahead. Steve Quell's our guest. Truth is stranger than fiction. There's a graphic at the bottom of the page on Infowars.com in the political illustration area of Thomas Jefferson, and he's saying to compel a man to furnish funds for the propagation of ideas he disbelieves in and abhors is sinful and tyrannical. That's the founder of the Democratic Party saying that. And that's what they make us do with all the textbooks, the government-run media, the funding of it, is just push all this disinfo. All I'm trying to do today is get people to think outside the box. Uh, we're going to do five minutes of overdrive, so we have time to try to go to at least five or six callers of the folks that are holding. Have you heard about this guy in New Jersey that got arrested for redirecting red light cameras? He said, of course, I knew I'd get arrested. I want to get him on. Red light rebel, how to fight back video gets him arrested, but gets a lot of love, too. But the point is, is that he knew he'd win because in that state and others, they're illegal. It's not a sworn officer writing the summons. They're all unlawful. But they still keep putting them up because people don't know and pay. So it's this type of civil disobedience against criminal government activity that's going to save this country. So great job. We salute you. Long Island Man 42 busted for tampering with traffic cameras and posting YouTube. He said who he was on the video. He didn't hide it, but they act like he's a criminal. New York Daily News. All right, going back to Steve Quell. We're taking phone calls. Uh, Art in Canada, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, I, my question to Steve is prompted by a discussion he had with George Norrie earlier this year. And it's this, Steve. Are you still um, expecting some sort of uh, Planet X appearance event uh, early next year? Well, I, I actually expect it. I think we're seeing it. Uh, we're experiencing the uh, gravitational, the climatic, and the volcanoes. You know, there's all kinds of uh, pressures, and when I'm talking gravitational pressures and other pressures being placed on the Earth. So, yeah, I think you're seeing it. I can take anybody back through recorded history, and even the ancients chronicled the volcanoes, you know, some of the biggest ones, Vesuvius, etc. You know, the point being is, is that those are all going off concurrently. Well, there's no doubt that, that there's hundreds of planets out in the Kuiper Belt. And oh, so absolutely. instead of calling them planets, they just delisted Pluto. There's planets two or three times the size of Pluto out there. And we know that Earth collisions happen a lot often. I just don't think anybody can tell exactly when that's going to happen. There's so many amateur astronomers. I would expect if something gets close, people are going to see it. But thank you, Art. Appreciate your call. Adam in FEMA Region 4, what former state are you in, sir? 
Uh, that would be Florida, sir. How are you doing? Steve? Good. Go ahead. Do you have a question or comment for Steve Coyle? Well, I got so much stuff I'd love to talk about, but I'll be as fast as I can. Basically, on the chemtrail issue, I was wondering if you think it would be a smart approach to take basically saying that, listen, the skies are meant to be clear and free of clouds. Here we have planes that have something coming out of the back, whether it be just a byproduct of the fuel that's combusted in the engine or something that's added or whatever. Can't we get environmentalists and liberals to just, you know, say, hey, what's up with all this pollution in the sky? No, that's the government the doing that. That's good. Well, well I, I, let me answer that really quick and really easy. Go to geoengineeringwatch.org. As the guy who broke the story about the chemtrails, I can tell you this. It's not, there's a difference between condensation trails and chemtrails. Chemicals, aluminum, barium, and also human blood sites, uh, blood cells, leukocytes, and also viruses. People say, well, our government would never do that. 285 times they've admitted to doing that, experimenting on servicemen. So, again, geoengineering. And this is what, a, uh, by the way, a guy who used to live in Austin told me, four-star general, he said they're preparing the Earth's atmosphere for the return of the gods of Sumerians. That's, by the way, fallen angels. And the thing is, Alex, when you hear that from four-star spec ops generals, you know, the bottom line is you start paying attention because what's happening, look at the deleterious effects, Fukushima. I maintain that both the earthquake and the explosion of the reactors were absolutely generated. And now the main- Stay there, hold on, one more segment, Steve. Stay there, thanks, Adam, good question. Uh, we're really getting outside the box today, stay with us. By the way, Tropical Storm Erica is battering the Caribbean. Florida, Bahamas are on alert. Hurricanes have been down the last uh, decade or so, but now they're back. But what is definitely out of control is tectonic activity around the world. And uh, they're saying that California could be seeing a huge one very, very soon. We're going to be getting some experts on that next week. Uh, Steve Quayle is our guest, stevequayle.com. Appreciate him joining us today. We're going as many calls as we can, getting quick comments from Steve. Uh, Darian in Illinois, thanks for holding. Am I on? Yes, you are. All right. Uh, yeah, I was watching Ancient Aliens the other day, and it was talking about the transhumanoid thing that, you know, with the building the cells and all that. What more can we do to expose the elite plan, you know, because this is just, you know, almost too far-fetched for some people to believe, you know? Well, listen, I appreciate your call. People can joke around about this, uh, but... They've already created transhuman chimeras that we see about in the old legends. So whether that was real or not, it's happening now. And because this has been pre-discredited before, just like there's no black helicopters, there's no world government, the Pope's not calling for world government even when he is, then when this stuff starts to happen, people can't believe it. They're already changing the earth and, 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 and attacking the genetic code of the planet of the creatures on the planet across the board. This is a very evil plan that isn't helping the elite themselves. So, uh, Steve Quayle? Well, Alex, it's a total evil plan, and it's totally uh, from start to finish. The Book of Revelation, which a lot of people quote, but they don't want to uh, you know, put it into perspective, is telling us what the end times are going to be like. And so the idea that we're dealing with the four horsemen, the apocalypse, famine. Look at the whole situation with Fukushima. A third of the sea life, the Pacific Ocean is actually a third of the sea life. It's just about dead or dying, yet there's nothing in the mainstream vomit brokers, and it's like it doesn't matter. Here's what people have got to understand and act and, and speak out and stand up for what this country is. They want you dead. By the way, the name of that report was the Deagle Report, okay? D-E-A-G-L-E. -E. When you and I put it on, we went out there, then they even had to put all of their caveats, well, we really didn't mean it, blah, blah, blah. Believe me, that meant what it meant. So the right. population, and, and you talk about tectonic plate weapons, I quote, obviously, in, in, in the books I've written... Secretary of Defense, Wars, Cullen, 1997, Army Times, that they have tectonic it, but weapons. But I, I wrote that in Weather Wars. You have me on your show. By the way, that's available. Weather Wars, can I tell you something interesting? Weather Wars is the most important book I ever wrote a decade ago for right now. When I'm writing about transgenics and transhumanism and everything we're talking about, kind of uh, going in the woo-woo area, well, the thing is that that's right now happening, but the weather wars are ongoing. 285 patents. Alex, if people seriously read the patents on... There's a whole real world going on under national security. It's out of control. Gary in New York, you're on the air. Go ahead. 